Hello and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. Last episode we ended chapter two and we're going to continue on to chapter three. Oh, there we go. Six fifteen Tuesday. Back in Thor's. It was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, a moment of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class. Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow. Geez, what should I do? I could stand a bone up on just about everything. Honestly, but my biggest worry right now is math. I wouldn't mind doing a few study sessions with you, if you think it would help. I need to review math anyway. I'm not sure how much time I'll be able to spare though. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. My biggest weak spot is Erebonian history, I guess. I doubt that comes as a huge surprise to anyone. I think I understand all the material we've gone over directly in class, but there are some finer points. I can age you with that, if you like. Though in return, I'd appreciate a fresh pair of eyes to help revise my military science essay. It'd be my pleasure. Would you like to study with me, Fee? I guess so. Oh, would you two mind if I jumped in too? I could use a little refresher on my classics. Of course, you're more than welcome. Would you like to join us, Lara? No, I... I appreciate your invitation, but I'll have to pass this time. There's a subject I need to review in private. I'll see you all later. Huh, what's up with her? Hmm. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I could have sworn I saw her looking over at Fee. Hey, Reen. Hey, what is it? You heading back to the dorms? You're totally welcome to come study with us if you want. I wasn't planning on heading straight back. I might come and join you guys a bit later. Alright then. Perhaps we'll see you later. Okay. Um, I am... I'm totally not going to cheat and look up where to go to get all the answers for this or anything. Oh no, let's first head over... Here and find History Instructor Thomas, wherever he might be. 
music room now. I'm looking for the library. I totally don't know think don't know that he's gonna be in the library. Oh, it's on the second floor of the library itself. So yeah, I'm just going down in the order. Um, I'll use this video to kind of Oh, oh we got an umbrella, that's cute. Um this video is gonna be mainly us just getting ready for the exams, and I'll be running to every place that we that they are. The second floor library. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello there. Did you come along to review some of what we covered in class? Actually, I was just passing by. Oh, come now. There's no need to be shy. Not when it comes to history. Let's get started, shall we? Why don't we go over by every little thing that might possibly come up on your exam? It sounds like it could be helpful if I can actually stay awake. Okay. Um, a primer on the second floor library. No. I'm looking for political economics. Somewhere. I know it's up here. Oh, maybe that's it? Yep, political economics, a primer. Sits primer, primarily on the shelf. Given the subject matter, this book seems really accessible. This would probably make for a good refresher. Sorry, one second. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog scratching the door. She's being a pain. Okay. Uh, military science, which is on a bench in the gym. I'm not cheating, I swear. Okay, let's head this way. Okay, there's a bench in... In here, there it is. The book entitled Military Science, a primer. It sits upon the bench like a courageous commander. This is one well-written book. The illustrations really bring things to life, too. Wait a second, this probably belongs to someone. Nobody would leave a book like this behind, so I'm sure they'll be back soon. I'll just leave this here. Okay. Uh, main building entrance now to talk to Becky. I think that's the girl that sits at the, de at the desk. That's Bianca. Monica. Maybe it's out here. Becky. Sh shut it, Hugo. I'm not taking. I'm not taking any advice for you. I can memorize everything in one go the night before. Becky, Becky, Becky. You won't be able to remember anything that way. The trick to memorization is to study up just before you go to bed. When you wake up, you review everything once more to seal the deal. It's easy, it's efficient, and best of all, it works. I guarantee it. You should try it too, Reen. Might as well give it a shot. Thanks. Okay. We're going to score number one on the test. Okay, now we go to the infirmary and talk to and start Instructor Mary. These will be your very first midterms, won't they? I have to admit, I'm a little nervous, too. This is the first time I've come up with questions for them. You should be fine as long as you study up on everything we've covered in class. Don't be afraid to ask questions, either. There were a couple of art history things I needed cleared up, actually. Oh my, a student is really relying on me for help? What a pleasant surprise. Art evolved in very complex ways during the Middle Ages, you see. There we go. Next one is Orville Science Instructor at the East Hall of Main Building. You probably know this already, but the faculty lounge is off limits while exams are going on. If you want to see a teacher, you gotta knock on the door and ask. You got something you want to ask me? Yeah. I've actually got an Orville Science question to ask you. Figure, show me what you got, what you got, what, eh, what's got you stumped. I'll get you up to speed. Okay, now we go up to the music room. 
There's a book on the on the desk. No, that's home ec. Art. That must be music. Yeah, this is music. Um. Oh, it's right there. A book entitled The Fancier's Guide to Erebonian Opera and Paintings sits pompous, pompously upon the shelf. Why would one book cover such different topics? Still, it probably cover it will probably cover some of the stuff on our exams. Wouldn't hurt to give it a read. Okay, now we have to go talk to Beryl on the main building roof. She's like the, the fortune teller. This way. she is. I love the rain. Let me let you in on a little secret. I don't even need to study thanks to a special little trick of mine. Page 44 will be on our orbital science exam. This is certain. This is fate. You're just making things up now. What well, if she does have some sort of special powers? I mean, it couldn't hurt to study that page, just in case. Okay, anything else? We got a couple more. Okay, student union building. Yep, these are both in the student union building. Okay, um, sorry, I was looking at my little guide here. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. That's why I'm really upset about last episode. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm very tempted to go back and redo it. Very, but it would, it would require me to play almost the entire game over. Um... Wind, BB, wind. Studying is so boring, but reading here might make things interesting. In fact, I've got a great idea. Why don't we have a little Q&A competition? Every time someone gets a question wrong, they have to take off an article of clothing. S -s -s Seriously? I I'm not doing that, never in a million years. Oh, okay, I guess we won't be studying at all then. Th that's not what I meant. So long as everyone keeps their clothes on, I'm fine with helping you two study. It'll probably help me too. Okay, and then the last one is read a book on Erebonian history, which is bookcase in the literature club. Which is, um, it's in the literature club, which is on the second floor. This um, guy said it's on the first, but it's on the second because it's the literature club. A book entitled Erebonian History and Pictures is on the shelf. What is this? It's more like a comic book than a traditional textbook. It does seem historically accurate, though. Can't hurt to give it a read. Okay, let's look around. Let's, um, that's all of it. But we're gonna look around and talk to some people. Oh, hi, Reed. How goes the studying? I suppose it's probably fine. There are going to be my... These are going to be my first midterms ever, so I'm more than a little nervous. Ah, uh, first years. How innocent. Doesn't help that military academies have a lot of subjects other schools don't. But you'll get used to it. That's true. Combat studies and military science to name two. Well, and you're going to want us to make sure that you're ready for the political economics exam too. Why is that? Well, it's mustache man's subject. That's not a very nice thing to call Prince Vice Principal Heinrich Angie. Angie? Excuse me. It does seem like the type to write a ridiculously hard exam. Oh, I know. How about I give you a hand studying for it? If you're free, at least. Are you sure? Of course. You're always helping me out, right? Critical economics is how the strongest subject. You wouldn't want to pass this up. Um. Okay, we can talk. We can, let's just talk to her. Well, if you're offering, I'd really appreciate it. I sure am. Let's get started then. Thus, Reen and Tao's study session began. Most of the stuff I was unsure about makes a lot more sense now. That's good to hear. We should probably go over some current affairs, too. For an exam? Yeah, the vice principal has a habit of putting questions based on recent news into his exams. This year, maybe we should go over some recently enacted laws. Yeah, it sounds like the kind of thing he put in there. Just so most people could be caught off guard, get it wrong, and get lectured at for being indifferent about society. I'd rather avoid that. 
Recent laws, recent laws, recent laws. The Financial Transactions Act from last year is one of the best known, I suppose. It requires you to inform pr prospective buyers of the risks when selling them stocks or securities. A number of people have suffered massive losses buying shares lately, so it's passed to keep people informed. So that's the histories behind the Financial Transaction Act. Then there's Imperial Transportation Act, which determines the rules of the road for drivers. That was last year too. There are more and more people buying cars lately, nobles and commoners, but car accidents were getting out of hand. And that was especially true in Heim Heimdall, which is why the law was enacted there first. How to try and remember that. And then there's the Provisional Taxation Act, which impacted just about every province you could think of. In other words, a fancy name for the much reviled tax increases. They're being enacted in the provinces, almost doubling land and business taxes. Doubling? That's wild. You probably at least heard about them. I have, yeah. Seemed like a pretty major topic back in Keldic. If he's going to say a question about a recent law, it's probably going to be about one of those three. Hopefully that'll be some help at least. Even if none of them come up, you've really helped me out. Feeling a lot more confident now. Thank you both for all your help. I didn't do anything at all, I'm just hanging out. If there's anything else you want to know, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks. I will. Alright, there's... There's that. We learned a bit, little bit more about Keldic. What about the provinces and taxation? Anything up here? About to begin a study session for the class students in the city. So why not only the finest minds have been invited? And actually, this includes a number of second years as well. It's hard to imagine a better group to study with. Had you accepted my offer, Schwarzer, you would have been able to join us. So I suppose there's a little point to telling you about now. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but good luck with your studies. There we go. Alright. Let's um kind of run around here and see if there's anyone else that we can... I'm not really my, worried about interacting with them. I just want to see if there's... I'm looking more for the key people. Like the student council, those second classmen. And um, then people in class 7. I hope there's some people up here. Coach Rower and Elise. Oh, are you two studying? She probably met up with Laura because she was worried about her. Yeah, we both figured we had a lot of art to brush up on. Probably not our most important subject in the grand scheme of things, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I've never had to deal with a series of exams right in a row like this. Laziest, laziness could very well be tan tantamount to failure. Would you like to join us, Reen? Yeah. I'd love to. The exam's supposed to be focused on the basics of illustration, right? You got it. Let's get started. How about you ask the first question, Reen? Sure. Okay, first question. Lisa, what is a decin? I think it's a drawing that makes use of monochrome lines of varying heaviness to highlight the way light hits its subject. You think correctly. So, Laura, what exactly is a sketch? A sketch portrays its subject roughly, with very little in the way of detail. I suppose it could be likened to an early first drawing of a draft of a drawing. That's right. Sketches and destins are basically two sides of the same coin, since both are used to start a painting. The big difference is that destins usually take some time to finish, whereas sketches are pretty quick. But there's a method that e that's even quicker and more basic than sketching. Any ideas, Laura? That would be croquet's, I believe. You two know your stuff, but maybe that just means we should be using harder questions to study with. Let me see if I can find some. Irene, if you want, I can ask the next set of questions. It's hardly effective studying if you don't get to answer any questions yourself. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just give me a minute here and I'll find you a really good one. Well, if you insist. Maybe we should have expected this. He really is a kind-hearted person. And so the three continue their art study session. I don't think anyone would be in there. The only one I, you would see in there is Vara. Okay, it's closed because of the, uh... Interesting. Where's Fee? I'm gonna find the other girls. We got one draw, um, one final exam thing left. That's, uh, Eusis and Gaius.
Oh, right, the library. There's people there, too. Okay, then they're here. Oh, engineering building? Is that- that might be where Fee is. She is a Jaeger, after all. Mer like, a uh, mercenary loves weapons. Interesting. I guess I'll talk to them. Hey there, Reen. What's up? Hold on, let me guess. You were studying away nice and diligently when you or your orbital lamp suddenly went out. Swing and a miss. You two seem pretty relaxed despite how close the midterms are getting. Who do you think you're talking to? I know better than anyone that it's pointless to start studying this way in the game. How's that working out for you? Girl's was actually pretty good when it comes to the practical stuff. Survival skills, first aid, all those kinds of things. Really? See, all stuff you don't need to study for. But if you're feeling shaky about any of it, I'm happy to teach you a thing or two. Okay. Sure, I'll take you up on that. Wait, you serious? The idea of Crow teaching anyone anything is a little unnerving. Were you just joking? Nah, that's cool. Might as well show you the ropes. Cool, if we borrow a chair or two, George. Go for it. And so Crow passed all of his knowledge on to Reen. That about sums up what they'll be testing you first years on. You should probably make sure you've got CPR down too. I do actually need to brush up on that. Do you think it'll come up? It's only one of the most basic things anyone would expect out of a Thor student, so it wouldn't hurt to know. All right, here, how's it? here's how it goes. If you find someone who's collapsed, first up is check whether or not they're conscious. If they're unconscious, it's safe to assume that they're in trouble. Next, you're going to want to shout for help. You're not going to want to try and handle this on your own. Got it? The more people you have helping you out, the better their chances are to survive. That makes sense. Next up is making sure they're breathing. If they aren't or something's weird about the way they are, it's CPR time. Their basically involves giving them a repeated combination of chest compression and rescue breaths. You need to keep this up until their pulse and breathing return. Got it? Don't give up until the very end. Understood. He does seem like the kind of person I could count on in a jam. Guess George was right about him being good at practical stuff. Now all you gotta do is put that into practice. If you see a girl in need, you better get right in there. When she wakes up and sees you've saved her life, instant fireworks. Your hands and lips are in the right spots already. Every time I think every, anything positive about you, you go and say something like that. Oh well, this was useful though. Thanks for taking the time to teach me. Good luck, my son. Go out there and get some good grades for me. <laughs> well, um, so I have actually have CPR training. Um, everything he said was correct. The only thing is, um, I don't, it's probably different because of the, the world. But whenever you're doing CPR, you always ask someone to call 911 um, of the group. And you need to make sure you call them out specifically because if you just say it generally, um, people are less likely to react and will still just stare. But if you call, if you focus, pick out one person in the crowd, they're more likely to actually call it. And when you're a little random, but still CPR, if you're doing it to a baby, you use just two fingers and do the same thing you would as with a normal person. And another thing, if you're... Sorry, I'm a little going off a little top, off topic here. If you're giving CPR, you want to make sure that you go in tight and like deep enough, and don't be afraid to break their ribs. Because if you break their ribs while giving them CPR, um, it's better that happens than them dying. But anyway, let's 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 continue. Oh, it's already time to head home. I didn't even realize because of the rain. I guess I should get ready to head back to the dorms. Excuse me. A lovely voice. A maid? Isn't she the maid for the noble? I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah. You're in the right place. His office is in the east wing, first floor. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness, but I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. How, how does she know my name? Sorry, I'm just kind of speeding that up. 
Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Reen? Oh, Isa? Speak up. Uh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I'm and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not gonna learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Blush. Sure, okay. Oh, wow, she's done. It's not often oh, the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? <laughs> well, eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? <laughs> nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sister's asked me that before, too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you think you did on the exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Wait, what? Did they already pass? Still, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. Did I miss something? <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machia scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Uh... Aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. It's not that major or anything, especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal, though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in the Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. She might- Oh, oh. speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20 or so? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. Uh... Ahem! Uh, anyway, maybe the uh, upper class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. Okay, that was... They confused me for a second. The next day. The first of four grueling days of midterm exams begin. Alright, but we're going to save that for next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well, I'll save this all for next episode, but thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.